So in this episode, we're going to talk about how to reverse a string without using any string function. And the built-in function for this specific task is strrev function, which is defined in the string.h library. And we're going to use that function also. But before that, we're going to write our own logic, which will reverse the string. So without any further delay, let's get started. So suppose we have this string superman. Now we want to reverse this string. That means after the function call, it should look like this. Now let's compare these strings. In the first string, S should be in the place of N and N should be in the place of S. So what do we call this process? This process is called swapping. We're going to swap these characters with their corresponding indexes. Now let's see their indexes. So the S 0th index will be swapped with S 7th index and the S 1th index will be swapped with S 6th index and the S 2nd index will be swapped with S 5th index and so on. Now let's see the first pair S 0th index will be swapped with S 7th index. Now what is this 7? How are we going to get 7? Now the length of the string is 8. If we subtract 1 in the length of the string, we get 7. Now suppose if we start a for loop, how we can write this expression? S ith index will be swapped with S length minus 1 index. Now if the value of the i is 0, so the S 0th index will be swapped with S length which is 8 minus 1, so S 7. And that's exactly what we want. But if we leave it as it is here, it will cause problem in the next iteration. Because in the next iteration, the value of the i will be increased to 1. Now the S 1th index will also be swapped with the S 7. And that's not what we want. We want to swap S 1 with the S 6. So how we can do this? So to solve this problem, I'm going to replace it with the length minus i minus 1. Now let's see here. If the value of the i is 0, now the s 0th index will be swapped with s length which is 8 minus i which is 0 minus 1. So we get s 7th. So the s 0th index will be swapped with s 7. Now in the next iteration, the value of the i will be increased to 1. So now the s 1 index will be swapped with s length which is 8 minus i which is 1 minus 1 which is s 6 and that's exactly what we want. In the next iteration, the value of the i is 2 and the s2 will be swapped with s5 and so on. And these are the exact pair what we want. So that's the logic for this program. Now let's write the code. So I'm going to start with the main function. Let's declare a string s I want the user to enter the string. And I'm going to use getS function to input the string. So at first we need to calculate the length of the string. So for the length of the string, we need to add another library, which is string dot h. So let's add this library. And now we can use the str len function to calculate the length of the string. So I'm going to declare an integer variable, which is l and then calculate length of the string. Now let's start a for loop, which will start from the i equals to zero. And so I'm going to leave it for now and we're going to get to this further in the video. So let's write the content of the for loop. Let's write the logic for swapping. So for swapping, I'm going to declare a character variable, which is going to be temp. So this is the logic for the swiping. Don't worry, we will try run this program. Let's suppose we have this string. Now in the temp variable, there is no value. For now, let's suppose the value of the i is 0. So now in the s 0th index, there is s. And the s l minus i minus 1, which is equals to the s 7, there is n. So now let's see first line here, temp equals to s 0. So now the temp variable contain s. Now see the second line here, s 0 equals to s 7. Now the S0 contain N. Now let's see third line here. S7 equals to temp. Now the value of the temp will be assigned to S7. Now the S7 contain S. And that's how it will swap. So I think you understood the swapping logic. Now at last, what is the end point for this for loop? How much time it should run? Okay, so let me take the previous example. We have a string superman. So the S0 will be swapped with S7. S1 will be 6. S2 will be 5th 
and S3 will be swapped with 4. So at this point all the character will be swapped and our string will be reversed. Now let's see here what is the value of the i on this point. The value of the i is 3. So how we can get to 3? We can get to 3 if we run this loop until the i is less than 4. So if the i is less than 4 how many times it should run? i equals to 1, i equals to 0, 1, 2 and 3. Now what is the 4 here? How are we going to get to 4? We are going to get to 4 by dividing the length of the string by 2. So the length of the string is 8 divided by 2 and we get 4. So we should run this for loop until the i is less than length divided by 2. This is the end point for this for loop. Now at last we are going to print the string 1. So I'm going to give you another example here. Let's suppose we have a string called wiki. So the length of the string is 5 which is odd. So if we divide it by 2, we get 2. So our for loop will run until the i is less than 2. That means for 0 and for 1. So the s0th index will be swapped with s4 and s1 index will be swapped with s3. And the c character will not swap because there is no need to swap c. It is already on its correct place. So there is no need to swap this. So as you can see this program will run for the odd length string also. So this is the code of our function. Let's run this code. And as you can see it is working perfectly. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you haven't watched these videos please check out this playlist also. And subscribe to my channel for future updates. Thanks for watching my video and I will see you next time.